All right, everyone, it's uh, Pixel Shorts here. It's Christmas Eve, and I've got a few minutes of quiet time. So, uh, I thought I would uh, do that video I was talking about with regards to Pixly. So, Pixly, if anybody... Um, I'll keep this, actually. I've messing about with this before. But Pixly, if uh, nobody really knows what it is, is, um, let me just turn off the coordinates, um, a Pixel Art app on Android, <clears throat> which I favour, because I've got a Note 8, so I, I draw a lot of my stuff with, it, with the S Pen. Um, and it's a, it's a really good app. It's It's not the best, as in it's buggy. Uh, and you might actually see some of them as we go through this, but uh, yeah, let's go. So I'll start with, um, I'm going to use the AAP64 palette. Uh, if anybody, just, just quickly touch on that. Um, if you press, oh, wrong button. So with your palette up here, it doesn't come as standard, so you have to load it. Um, now, so now here's a bug that I'm talking about. That's that's really annoying. If I now tilt my phone, which I know is going to be a bit awkward on this video, uh, when I press that button, you can now see I can I can load a palette in, uh, and you import a copy and then pick it again. So this so this is what I'm talking about. Pixly isn't the best. If I tilt my phone back to the right orientation and then try and go with a palette, um, yeah, it, so it does come with its bugs, but for all of its sins, I do enjoy it. So let's let's go with this. So I'll pick that palette now. The first thing you want to do, I'm starting with a 16 by 16 here. We'll get bigger, but I'm only doing it for the size of the bricks. So bricks, oh, you're talking. Um, you want to do a 16 by 8 brick, but what you've got to consider is one layer of that brick is cement or mortar or whatever you want to call it. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, and 15. Yep, so that's your brick. Which leaves us with enough room for the cement under it, uh, and then we we're going to put our second brick. But you only want to do you can't quite do half because it's fifteen. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is one brick half, and then uh, a bit of cement. But this time you're going to go to the end because obviously when it tiles. Uh, so you can see that here, if we go into the view, we can tile it. So you can see they're, they're bricks now. Um, let's switch it off for now. So you've got your basic uh, fundamental of the brick. I like to round the corners here. You don't have to if you don't want to. Just be careful on this bottom layer. Um, you don't want to do these bits because obviously the brick needs to join. So that's fine like that. Um, and then you want to highlight your brick. So we'll add... That highlight. And we'll also go with a darker one. At the bottom. Now, people would do it that way. But I don't find that works. Ooh, personally. So what I would do is just leave that like that and just add, you know, like a, a couple of bits here and there, just, just to break it up a bit. Now I'm actually going to change that. I don't want to do it yet because obviously these bricks are going to become a bit repetitive. So we don't want to add detail yet, otherwise you're going to be um, repeating that detail. Um, so you want to try and break it up. So that 
is basically the, the basis of this wall. This is a simple 16 by 16 tile. Um, at this point, it doesn't look very good. Um, but we're going to change that. So in Pixly, uh, you can go to Edit, and Resize the Canvas, and for now, we'll just double this lengthwise here, like so. And the reason I want to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip that. I'm going to copy that and drop it in. And now you can see why I was saying before um, it, it all just slots together nicely at this point. And again, now we've done that, we'll extend it down this way. There you go. We'll copy that and we'll paste it here. Now this time, uh, no, 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 I made a mistake there. Sorry, I'll go back. I'm not going to paste it yet. I'm going to, I'm going to put another layer in, a blank one above it. Select that layer, and then we'll paste it on that layer, um, and then we'll drop it in there. Now the reason I've done that, so we've now got that that repeat of the brick, but because this obviously this brick's 15, it's not 16. It, it it's odd. You're never going to get it in the center, but that's good. That's good because now if we pick the hand tool, this layer can be scrolled because it's on its own. So what we're going to do instead of matching it up like that, um, let's move it along a little bit. So there, so we've now got a slightly different pattern and you can put that wherever you want. I mean, you don't need to do this, but it just sort of, it, it it just makes it less repetitive. The, the wall then becomes more unique. Um, so, so there we. I mean, this is where we're at here. So this is now uh, thirty-two by thirty-two. So we've taken one sixteen tile, which was bit, quite basic, and we've put that in there four times to create thirty-two by thirty-two tile, starting to look more like a wall. Still not perfect yet. So the next thing we will do, I'm going to resize it again. I'm now I'm going to add another 32 on there. And I'm going to copy all of that. Um, and I'm just going to paste that. Ah, no, hang on. Silly me. I'm going to merge the layer first, um, which is this arrow, the, the, the up and down arrow. Uh, now I'm going to copy that because it doesn't matter about pasting this layer, um, this on the same layer because you can't change that pattern. But we'll repeat what we did on the last step, which is um, we're now going to add another 32 down, but we'll add a new layer, a blank one, and now we'll copy that. And again, oh, oh, silly me. Copy it off that layer and then paste it onto the new blank one. There we go. Uh, unselect it now with the hand tool again. So now we can scroll that. And we can just put it, um, well, anywhere really. It doesn't really matter. No, that doesn't look right. But you, you get my drift. It, it's just so we're, we're breaking that that pattern down a bit. It's not perfectly stacked bricks, which, you know, in a normal house, you probably wouldn't get that. And I think that's, although the one thing I am noticing there is, um, if you look at the left edge, you, it, it almost like that half a brick is getting smaller and smaller, which makes it start to look like a pattern. I don't want that, so... Um, it's the same as the top. It, like I say, it it doesn't really matter, but it's uh, that'll do. It's, I, I've basically placed it in the same place, but um, there's not really a lot of choice. And uh, there, no, we'll leave it like like that. That'll do. I'm messing about now. So I'm going to merge that layer now. So this now becomes one pattern. And at this point, we can tile that 
there you go. So we're starting to get a brick wall. Um, I'm just going to untile that now. Oh no, I've moved that, haven't I? See, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have messed about with that. I've now. There we go. This is what comes with uh, messing around. That's exactly how it was at the start. So <laughs> ridiculous, right? So we're now going to um, to add this this darker bit here. But what we'll do is I'm just going to pick some of these bits and just draw some little chips in the brick. Doesn't matter where. Um, just I wouldn't do it on too many um, because it, it starts to look a bit much after a while. It's annoying. Um, Go and just a bit there, and just breaks it up a breaks it up a little bit, um, and then once you've added them, just add some little darker bits around them. Um, again, there's no exact science to this. You just just do your style, do do what you like. I mean, I would recommend. I'm using AAP um, sixty four here, but uh, you don't have to, you know, use use your own palette, use your own style, um, get to where you need to be, so I'm nearly done here. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not, this isn't the best orange to be using for bricks, but I am going to recolour this. I mean, it's not bad by any means, but... Um, I think bricks are uh, they're not so bright are they uh, right that'll do so we've added the, those little bits in now now here's the uh, here's the game changer with this wall <clears throat> so what we need to do we need to think about um pushing some of these bricks in and making them look like uh, the, the popping out or the going in now the good thing about making them pop out it's so so easy you just take this darker color and you're gonna color in like that and that doesn't look like much but when you actually zoom out it's like a trick of the eye zoomed in you can't really tell but as a pattern that brick just pops out of the wall um, and I'm guessing that's just because that's how your brain wants to, to sort of visualise that so we'll do a couple of them, we'll, we'll space them out we'll do one here again do this as you, how you, however you feel you, you want to, so now we've got two um, and we'll maybe pop um, this one out here as well um, that might be a bit close to the others really but Ah, that'll do. I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, if we move this little mini view here, you can you can really see that in there. Um, and then we want to push a couple in as well. So the easiest way to do that is you take a, a, a darker colour and you colour these bits here. Um, and then you take that colour and you change the, the highlight of the brick at the top. Uh, no, you don't, sorry. You take... Sorry, scrap that, don't do that. Take that colour and colour the brick, that colour. Um, and then take the actual brick colour and colour that in, which now gives you that indented look. So I'll recap that because that was a little bit confusing. So going back to that brick. So what you want to do is you want to take a darker colour. I think it's that. Is it that one? No, yeah. It's, so I'm going to use that one. Make that colour darker. 
take the dark color on your normal brick and color your entire brick that color and then take the normal brick color and change your highlight to that normal brick color so you so you're only adding one darker color and then you're reusing the other colors around you which now we've got a brick that looks like it's pushed in the, in the mini view there you can see that and we'll add one more i'll do one down here this this one here yeah, so I'll, I'll do that again you take the darker color and color in your darker bits at the bottom you take your um other brick highlight color the whole brick that color and then you take your normal brick color and color that bit and now suddenly we have that wall pattern um, and that works great um, the so the other thing now that's that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much your brick um, now all I'm gonna do here at this point um, I'm gonna resize this again so now I'm going to add another 64 because that's that's what we're working with now. We've gone from 16 to 64. Um, take that. There we go. So we've now got a little bit repetitive um, for that bit there. But this is where we can change that. So... We'll add a new blank layer. Um, we'll resize it so we'll go 64 down now. Um, copy that. Now we'll paste that on the new layer. Um, but now, don't place it. Oh yeah, hang on. So you've got to, so you've got to place it first once you've pasted it like that. Um, and then you pick the hand and now we can shift that so we now don't have that I mean it's a similar pattern but um, I mean I guess it's hard to it's still going to repeat that pattern. You could have broken this up, or or you could have copied um, a layer earlier if you wanted to. But I mean, the, the principles there. Unfortunately, this one hasn't. In fact, you know what? I'll uh, I'll just drop that out. No, I'll leave it there. Forget it, because because the principle of the tutorials there, you can see. We have raised bricks, we have lowered bricks, um, and it works well. Now, it, it is a bit orangey, that, so let's try uh, another trick in Pixel. We'll, we'll go with the replace colour. So let's start with um, the normal brick, and we will go with... Um, so here's another little bug. I can't scroll that palette, which is a bit annoying, but luckily those greys are there. So so we need a highlight. In fact, it won't let me pick that at all. So there's another pixely bug. Uh, it's not normally that bad. Let me try again. Let me pick from the palette. If I just turn this a minute. There we go. Um... So we'll go with that grey. Sorry, I'm just going to leave it like this while I do this. Because a lot of the time, if you have a bug in Pixly, rotate your phone or your device. Because um, that problem tends to go away. So then we'll replace the highlight uh, with this slightly lighter grey there. That's that. Then we will replace, um, I'm picking it from the image there, now that's too light, so we want to go in with that one, 
And then finally, oh, we'll replace this darker color. Now, was that the same one? No, it wasn't. There we go. And now we have uh, a, a gray wall. And, um, and that's with the same same principle. Uh, we've just picked new colors for that. Um, so there you go. I mean, that's so that we've started there with a 16 by 16 tile. Uh, we now have, a, is it 1 to 8 by 1 to 8? Let me have a look. Yeah. 128 by 128 tile now. So we've we've gone from 16 to 128 and we've we've added that that brick tile on now. I would add more variation or maybe not have so many um bricks popping out and bricks popping in. I think I, I overdid that there on the made it look a bit repetitive, but the the principles there and hopefully you can you can take that this this would work with any um, pixel art software, not just specifically uh, pixely. As long as you know that software well, you can achieve the, the same thing. Um, but r really, I just wanted to oh, hang on. I'll, I'll put my device back. There you go. Um, I just wanted to give you a flavour of pixely. I can do more of these if you like this. Um, I mean, there's the mini view of that. I can. There you go. So that's how it would look um, at different, oh, it's a bit small that, but there you go. So yeah, I hope uh, you found this useful. We can, I mean, I, I'm thinking of doing maybe some dirt tiles and some, some other bits. So if there's anything specifically you want to see or, um, you know, whatever hit me up on twitter let, let me know your thoughts i'm probably going to be busy over the next few days um i just wanted to try and get this out for now since the response i got on twitter was was pretty big for this so um i appreciate the uh the want of people to see this and uh, one last thing before i go i will tile that uh, much bigger see so see there you can see the uh how repetitive that is there but um Perhaps not tile that. But yeah, there we go. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and enjoyed it. Um, and I'll hopefully get more out soon. Also, it is Christmas Eve. So I will say uh, to anyone who watches this today or tomorrow, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays if, if Christmas isn't your thing. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a great time. Thanks for watching.